Hi, my name is Caroline, and in this video, we're going to do some vibe coding of some fun Python games with my Raspberry Pi 5 and Microsoft Copilot. Now, I'm going to do this project on my Raspberry Pi 5, but you could really do this on your Raspberry Pi 4 or your Raspberry Pi 3 or other computers as well. I think this is just a fun way for us to vibe code some fun games, learn AI, learn about the Raspberry Pi, and learn about coding. Now let's get started. I'm going to start out by opening up my internet browser and we're going to go to copilot.microsoft.com. I'm using a free account on copilot.microsoft.com and I've already logged in before I started this video. And I'm just going to start this off by saying write Python code for the rock, paper, scissors game. And let's see what it comes up with. Here's a sample Python script for the rock, paper, scissors game that you can play against the computer. The script lets the user play rock, paper, scissors against the computer, random choice. I am going to hit copy, and then I'm gonna open up programming. I'm gonna use Genie on this one, and I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna hit paste. And there we go, that's the code that we got. I'm going to save the code. I'm making a new folder called games. I'm gonna put everything in there, and we're gonna call this RPS rock, paper, scissors, dot PY, enter. And now let's run the code. Enter rock, paper, scissors. I'm gonna say rock, enter. You chose rock, computer chose scissors, I win. All right, excellent. Press return to continue. And that's the end of the game. Let's play it again. Enter rock, paper, scissors. I'm gonna go with scissors this time. Scissors, enter. Computer chose paper, you win. Yay, press return to continue. And that's the rock, paper, scissors game written in Python code, vibe coded with Microsoft Pilot. Let's go back to Copilot here and say, write Python code for rock, paper, scissors, lizard spot. Let's see if it knows the Big Bang Theory version of this game. Enter. Absolutely, here's the Python script for Rock, Paper, Scissors, Lizard, Spock, an extended version of the game made popular by the Big Bang Theory. And here are all of the rules and all of the code. I'm gonna hit copy, over back to my genie. I'm gonna hit new and I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna paste that code. I'm gonna hit save. And I'm gonna call this Rock, Paper, Scissors, Lizard, Spock, rpsls.py, hit enter to save. And let's try this out. I'm gonna hit go. Uh-oh, I got syntax error. All right, so it didn't, it didn't give me all the code here, unfortunately. It just kind of ended right there. So I'm gonna say, missing some code, please complete the code. Hit enter, see what happens. You're right. Here is the complete rock, paper, scissors, lizard, Spock Python game. All right, let's try this now. I'm gonna hit copy, and then I'm gonna go back to this one. I'm gonna select all, I'm gonna delete everything. I'm gonna right click, hit paste. Let's see if we got all the code. Maybe, maybe not. Possible choices. I'm still st stuck in this one. Here, it does not know what all the rules are. I tried this twice. Run this again. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. I'm going to say I'm getting the error. And then I'm going to paste in the error. Hit enter. Corrected. It's corrected the function. <laughs> but it still doesn't give me the right answer. Let's try one more time and then we're gonna give up. I still do not have the complete Python code. And um, I think it is citing its source. Unfortunately, I get a, if you click this, you get a 404 error, unfortunately. So somebody, it was trying to copy the code from this GitHub repository, but they've taken it down or we can't get to it. And now I think that's why it's just kind of doing partial stuff. All right, so we're gonna just stick with rock, paper, scissors. Say, all right, we did rock, paper, scissors. We did not successfully do rock, paper, scissors, lizard, Spock, unfortunately. Now let's go back to Copilot and try something else. Start a new chat, and I'm going to say, write Python code to play a number guessing game with the computer. User will guess a number between one and 10. I'm gonna hit enter, let's see what it does. It provides feedback if the guess is too low, too high, correct, and continues until the user gets it right. I'm gonna hit copy. This time, we're gonna use programming Thony. Try a different code editor here. I'm gonna hit paste. I'm going to save, and I'm gonna call this number guess.py. Enter to save. Hit run. Guess a number between one and 10. I'm gonna hit five, enter. Too low. Seven, enter. 
Congratulations, you guessed the right number. Looking at the code here, you'll see guess the number between one and 10, random integer one and 10. So what I don't like about this is that the 10 is hard-coded number. They didn't use a variable. We can't choose the number. Go back to Copilot. Now I'm gonna say modify Python code to make the number 10 a variable that we can change. Enter. Great idea. Making the upper bound of the guessing range variable makes for an easy customization. Here's the modified code. And then I'm gonna hit copy. And so upper bound right now equals 10. Let's go back to Thani. We're gonna have a new file. Right click, paste, and I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna call it number guess2.py, enter. And right now the upper bound is 10 and everything is based on the upper bound being a variable now. We can now change the upper bound to be 20. And I'm gonna save that and I'm gonna run that. So guess the number between one and 20, I'll hit 10. Too low, 15, enter, 18, enter and congratulations you guessed the right number and that is the version where you get to choose the upper bound now let's go back to copilot start a new chat and let's say write python code for a memory game with a gui and a 4x4 matrix enter here's a python script memory game using the tinker library for the gui consists of a 4x4 grid where players must match pairs of hidden symbols symbols are letters Okay, you're gonna match the pairs. And now we're going to hit copy. And I'm gonna open up a terminal this time. This is a great time to practice our terminal commands. I hit ls to see what we got. I'm gonna cd into our games folder. And now I'm going to nano memory game.py, enter. And I'm going to right click and paste. Control X to exit, the letter Y to save. And now I'm gonna hit enter to write the file name. And now to run it, we type in python memory game.py, enter. And here we go. C, E, F, D, A, E. I think the E was right here. And uh, yeah, I got a keyboard interrupt and then it aired out. I'm gonna try this again. I hit the up arrow and I'm gonna run this game again. There we go, I have completed the memory game and I am done with that game. Okay, excellent. Let's go back to our Microsoft Copilot and uh, I noticed it used uh, letters. Rewrite Python code to use animals instead of letters and I'm gonna give a little context here. I'm gonna say I'm using a Raspberry Pi 5. Hit enter. Since you're running this on a Raspberry Pi 5, I kept it lightweight for a smooth performance. Excellent. I think it's using these emojis except half of the emojis don't come out, unfortunately. I don't think it's going to use the emojis properly, so I'm going to say please substitute emojis with text words for animals. Enter. Swapped letters for emojis, making it more visually engaging. Now it's dog, cat, rabbit, frog, monkey, fox, wolf. Animal names replace emojis. Slightly wider buttons to fit the text. Let's copy that code. Go back to our terminal. Nano memory game dash animals dot py. Make a new file. Right click. I'm going to paste all that code. Control X to exit, the letter Y to save, enter to write. Now we're gonna run the command Python memory game animals.py, enter. It made the boxes just slightly more rectangular instead of square. Wolf, frog. There, there, okay. I have matched all the animals, finished the game. I did get that exception again, probably selected things a little too fast, but apparently it doesn't affect the gameplay. That is Vibe Coding on Raspberry Pi with Microsoft Copilot. And there you have it, Vibe Coding on my Raspberry Pi 5 with Microsoft Copilot. Now this is part of a larger series, so if you want to see how this works with other AIs, please do check out the entire series. Thanks for watching, please subscribe, and I'll see you next time.